Most folksy types of guitar music are based on a really small collection of left hand shapes that are strummed or picked in a variety of ways with the right hand. I'm going to show you the 15 most important chord shapes along with some strumming and picking patterns and progressions or orders to practice them in. Start by doing this. Put your left hand index finger on the second string, first fret. Put your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. Put your third finger on the fifth string, third fret. That's called a C chord. Now strum all the strings downward four times in a row and count. One, two, three, four. If you get any buzzers or weird sounds, check to make sure that your fingers are close to the frets and make sure that you keep your fingers curved and arched up so they don't unintentionally mute adjacent strings. Now make the, ne now make the next chord. Put your middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret. Put your pointer finger on the 5th string 2nd fret. Put your 3rd finger on the 1st string 3rd fret and strum it the same way. One, two, three, four. That's called a G chord. For the next chord, start with your pointer finger on the 2nd string 1st fret. Middle finger on the 4th string 2nd fret. 3rd finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret and strum it four times. One, two, three, four. That's called A minor. For the next chord, start with your middle finger on the fifth string, second fret. Third finger on the fourth string, second fret. Strum it four times. That's called E minor. For the next chord, you're going to do a technique called a bar. Start with your pointer finger pressing down on the second string and the first string at the first fret. So you get both of those notes with your pointer finger. Put your middle finger on the third string second fret, third finger on the fourth string third fret. And for this chord, don't hit the sixth string when you strum. Start from the fifth string and strum down four times. That's called an F chord. Next, we're going to go back to the first chord we did, called C. Pointer finger on the second string, first fret. Middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. And third finger on the fifth string, third fret. Strum down four times. Next, a chord called D minor. Put your pointer finger on the first string, first fret. Middle finger on the third string, second fret. And either your pinky or your third finger on the second string, third fret. And again, for this chord, don't hit the sixth string when you strum. Strum from the fifth string down. Count four. One, two, three, four. Finally, for the last chord in this progression, start with your pointer finger on the first string, first fret, middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger on the sixth string, third fret. Strum four times. That's called a G7 chord. All together, that chord progression should sound like this. Here's another progression using a different strumming pattern. Start with your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, third finger on the second string, second fret. That's called an A7 chord. For the strumming pattern, do this. Strum down once, and then up once. And then next, hit the strings with the pick and the heel of your right hand at the same time. You should get a muted sound like that. Again, the heel of your palm has to hit the same time as the pick so the strings don't make any sound. Okay. After that, strum up and repeat that. You did down, up, click. For this progression, we're going to repeat that pattern. On the next chord, start with your middle finger on the third string, second fret, pointer finger on the second string, first fret, third finger on the first string, second fret, and for this chord, again, don't hit the sixth string. Same strumming pattern. Down, up, click, up, down, up, click, up. A little faster. That's called D7. 
Now we're going to go back to the first chord, A7, middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, third finger on the second string, second fret, same strumming pattern. Down, up, click, up, down, up, click, up. a little faster. The last chord, start with your pointer finger on the third string, first fret, middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, strum, same pattern. Down, up, click, up, down, up, up. That's called E7. All together, that progression should sound like this. This next one uses three new chords along with the G chord that you learned earlier. Start with your pointer finger on the third string, first fret, middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, third finger on the fourth string, second fret. That's called an E chord. For this strumming pattern, you're going to strum down, move your hand back up, but don't hit the strings. Then strum down, strum up, move your hand down, but don't hit the strings. Then up, down, up. So you have down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. A little bit faster. For the next chord, start with your pointer finger on the third string, second fret, middle finger on the first string, second fret third finger on the second string, third fret, and again, for this chord, don't hit the sixth string. It'll sound funny. Do the same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. A little faster. Down, miss, down, up, miss, up, down, up. In rhythm. Now the G chord that you learned in the first progression. Middle finger on the sixth string, third fret. Pointer finger on the fifth string, second fret. Third finger on the first string, third fret. Same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. A little faster. For the next chord, put your pointer finger on the fourth string, second fret. Middle finger on the third string, second fret third finger on the second string, second fret. So you're on the fourth, third, and second strings all at the second fret and strum the same pattern. That's called an A chord. You can also do the A chord by putting your pointer finger down on top of the fourth string and third string and using your middle finger on the second string. That whole progression with the strumming pattern goes like this. Then we're going to end it with two down strums on A, two down strums on G, and that's the end. All together, 